All right, y'all, so I'm going to cook y'all the best cauliflower rice you have ever tasted. So my family always asks me, they either ask me to make the cauliflower mac and cheese, or they say, hey, can you make the cauliflower rice? And I say, I got you. And just like I got them, I got y'all. So I'm going to use, I'm going to start by using the frozen, um, The frozen cauliflower rice. Oh man. I'm gonna start by using the frozen cauliflower rice. I already have this pack already open, so I'm not very thrilled about it. You don't have to use the frozen, but this is my favorite. The H-E-B brand, but I go to Joe V's and get it because you save a couple of um, cents on it. I think they have for like $1.98, $1.97. And if you go to like any other store, it's already like $2.28. Sometimes you can get Walmart's, um, Walmart's organic um, cauliflower rice, which is cheaper too. That used to be a dollar. They're not a dollar anymore. You can get it for like $1.78. But anyways, I start with some olive oil. Kind of heat it up. Um, Y'all, if you want to use fresh cauliflower, you can also do that too. But this is just my go-to when I'm trying to cook like quick. Get straight to the point like I told y'all. I do keto, but I try to make it as stress-free as possible. That's what keeps me on it, you know? And this is all I have. I'm not very happy. I thought I had more cauliflower rice, but I don't. Um. So anyways, I start here, and then I kind of just cook it up. And y'all, you can use whatever oil to your preference. I just been using um cauliflower oil. Oh, cauliflower oil. Oh my god, I've been using olive oil since I kind of started keto. So that's what I use. But you can use avocado oil, canola oil. You can use all those oils. But anyways, I start here. I kind of just let it cook, like cook some of that water out. The last time I prepared y'all some um, dirty rice, which is so tasty. I ate on it for like a whole week. It was so good. So you have to check that short out. It's not a long video, but this is just a short of me like cooking cauliflower rice. I think it's just something I crafted myself on. And I also just share with people like how I make because they be like, oh, I can't eat cauliflower rice. Why can't you? Are you cooking it right? You got to add the season to it, y'all. You can't like, come on now. I have my little tricks and stuff that I do with it to just make it burst with flavor. But anyways, I'm going to let that cook. Y'all, season to taste is everything. So, hey, if you feel like you have to put more than what I'm putting in. Remember, this wasn't a full bag of cauliflower. And if you watch my, um, if you watch my short, I definitely hit it with more seasoning for sure. So, anyways, we're going to get into it. So, this is something I do to my cauliflower. I hit it with some garlic powder. I hit it with that herb and spice, y'all. This is my favorite season. Like, you have to get it. it I think it's better than the regular Tony Sanctuaries because it's just too salty for me. Um, And then I kind of just mix that. 
Trying to cook. It's already smelling good. Now this is like I don't sprinkle this much, but like I said, I don't have the full bag because I don't want it to be that red color. That's what I don't want. I want some nice, fluffy, right, white cauliflower rice, but this is not how it, this is coming out because I, um, because I sprinkled the Tony Sashries on it. But anyways, this is another trick that I use. I use the um, chicken bouillon in my cauliflower rice. And I take a pinch of it because this bouillon can be salty sometimes. And I don't want my cauliflower rice too, like, salty. Like, no. There. Kind of, like, cook it down. Like I said, you can opt out of using a Tony Sasseries, but I really like the herb and spice. It wouldn't normally be this color. I would have it like a white color. You can put some salt and pepper in it as well, but I'm not going to. Um, And then this is the last thing. Oh no, this is not the last thing I do. So I add a little bit of butter and kind of let that butter cook in there, make it nice and buttery. Y'all will see me time and time again plate my food with some um, cauliflower rice. Because that is just something that I eat now. I have not like turned back to um, regular rice. I just felt like that was one of my weaknesses. So let me just stay away from it all the way around. Okay. So my our butter is out. Y'all feel free to add... However much season you want, however much butter you want. And, you know, enjoy this. Like, enjoy yourself eating clean and healthy. So, even like I said, if you want you some fresh, fresh cauliflower, you can do that too. But this is just what I've been doing and it works. And I have, this is my last little trick that I use. I use a little bit of Parmesan cheese. It just adds a different level of flavor to it. I just add like a sprinkle across the way with it. Ooh, it smells so good. And y'all, that is it. That's all I do to my cauliflower rice. Um... Like I said, you can go easy on the Tony Sessions. I'm not very thrilled that I didn't have a whole bag of um, cauliflower rice because I like it to be nice and white just to give me that illusion of rice. Okay. So, y'all, that is it. Very quick, straight to the point, and I'm out. Enjoy. All right, y'all, so this is your cauliflower rice keto meal, my style. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.